it looks like it is gonna snow. It's like 42 degrees right now, Monday night. Uh, I got an update, uh, two, two updates. One of them I literally just found out about an hour ago. So but uh, anyway, before I do the updates, the last couple videos that I've done, I've gotten um, uh, quite a few new subscribers to my channel. So uh, I'll just introduce myself real quick. My name is Jay. Uh, my family and I live just outside of Ocean City, Maryland. And uh, we do a bunch of vlogging uh, videos, uh, fishing stuff, all types of, like Assateague Island, uh, clamming, all types of videos. So uh, if you're interested in any of them, just check them out. Uh, in the meantime, the updates that I have for today, it's uh, like I said, one of them I just found out about, literally just found out about. Uh, the other one's the Inlet Village. I'll explain more when I get down there. Um, but the last video that I did, I was uh, driving and I pretty much said that December and January are like the the prime time for things to happen. I said I was gonna update the description down below of the last video just so you could see what was going on, but then I found out about these, so uh, definitely worth doing another video on these. So, uh, Like I said, there's only three stops. One of them is gonna be the Inlet Village. Uh, the video that was supposed to come out today is gonna come out tomorrow, and then uh, Thursday is a crab cake review uh, with a bonus review. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. It's getting to be a little bit dark, so it might be a little bit tough to see, but I'll do the best that I can. I don't know. Maybe I'll name this one, uh, like, I don't know, up Updates After Dark. <laughs> like a creepy, like, Updates After Dark. All right. Anyway, enough fooling around. I'll see you at the first one in a second. All right. First one's up. Here we go. This is probably going to shock quite a few. Uh, the bowling alley. Bowling alley, Ocean Lanes, uh, the lawyer's office, and OCM Crabs. The, all three of them are up for sale. It's wild. I was just at that bowling alley too last year. I had a friend come up. Uh, he was in the Marines with me. Uh, we are in the Marine Corps uh, way back in like 03 to 07. And, um, uh, yeah, we were in together and, uh, he came up from Louisiana to come visit and, uh, we, we took all the, the kids bowling more on that though. Before I forget, uh, I we're going to Louisiana to go see him, uh, right after Christmas. So I'm going to have the, I'm going to record the whole thing. Uh, he lives like way, way down in the swamps of Louisiana. If you've seen that TV show, swamp people like Homa, Louisiana down there, that's where he lives. So, uh, it's, it's quite an interesting way of life. It's so much fun too. So we're going to, um, we're going to drive down, we're going to road trip and I'm just going to vlog the whole thing or the majority of it. So, all right, I'm off to the next one. I'm going to hit a hit up the inlet village. And then, uh, the other one is in West ocean city. The one that I, I literally just found out about while I'm driving down here. Uh, there, there is another, uh, place that closed. It was, uh, if you're familiar, there was the new shopping center it had K coast mother's cantina. It was, um, it was like uptown, not the Caicos by the Shotties Point, the other one going the other way towards Delaware. Uh, the restaurant used to be Three Anchors. They never even opened. And then it went into Mother's Cantina. And then Caicos, the surf shop, was um, was in there too. Caicos uh, shut, shut down. So uh, that space is up for lease right now. Oh yeah, another another quick one too. The new Secrets Liquor Store is open, but the one next to it, I think it was like ABC Liquor Store, that, that one's closed. So uh, it looked like they just pretty much moved everything to the new one. I think everybody kind of figured that was gonna happen, but um, yeah, just to, uh, to let you know, there were a couple people asking about it, if they were gonna keep the old one open or what they were doing with it, but uh, for now it's closed. I don't know what they're gonna do with the building though. It's pretty uh, dead quiet down here. It's uh, just about five o'clock, usually in the summer. This is like prime time. Streets are packed. There's nobody here. They have the big tree lit at Sunset Park. It looks pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna park in the back, same place I did last time and just kind of run up the back steps uh, and see what's going on. Uh, there is something going on there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure 100% what, but I know that 
it involves uh, some type of uh, real estate transaction. So there's the back steps right there. I'm gonna run up there, see if they're actually even building anything. Let's check this out, Let's see what's going on. Really doesn't look like much. Oh, someone was asking before about the steps I just went up. The old ramp used to be here, and then they built this, and they put the steps up too. So this is all new, all this. And that and that is old it doesn't really look like anything's going on oh that's new yeah I don't really see much it all pretty much looks the same so like I was saying there's some things going on some type of like real estate transaction or something with the seven uh, stores up here so I'm assuming it's one two three four five six and I think the one behind is seven which I guess would make sense but uh, yeah like I said I don't know exactly what it is but I know it's something is going on and it's taking a little bit of time so I don't know if they're changing changing ownership or what I have no clue but um as soon as I hear it well, of course, I'll let you know right away. I guess we'll wait and wait and see. I, yeah, that probably explains why everything has taken so long and why it kind of stalled. Uh, if they're changing, changing hands or what, I have no clue, no idea. So we'll find out. We'll find out soon. Whoa, look at the sunset. Creeping through the, the clouds. All right, I'm uh, headed to West Ocean City now and do the final update there the shocker it's kind of hard to see with the glare but I'm making a left on 611 it's pizza two goes right in front of me uh, right down there is where the captain the new captain's galley is uh, the carry out place that we did the crab cake review all right final one smokers barbecue this thing just got listed for sale uh, a couple hours ago. We loved going here. The food is awesome. If you've never been there, it's on the way to Assateague. If you follow 611 and just keep going straight down, you'll run right into Assateague. Uh, we would come here and pick up food and then go drive out onto the beach and uh, eat dinner at night sometimes with the kids. It was always fun. The food is fantastic too. It's really good. So I'm hoping that They'll keep everything the same, whoever buys it. So I know I know it's gonna sell fast. Uh, it's extremely popular, um, but I, I really, really hope it stays the same. So uh, this one's pretty sad. I, yeah, I'm still kind, of, still kind of in shock over it. They never even mentioned anything about it. I saw um, they post all their annual like closing stuff that they do, and then they have like a, a fill the freezer special that they do, no, no mention of selling it or anything, so absolutely crazy if anything else continues uh again i'll put it in the description below for this one uh but if there's a lot of other updates like this one and people selling and stuff like that then um uh, then i'll just do i'll do another video so that's it i'm out of here um be on the lookout for the louisiana tapes uh like i said that it's <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun so uh we're gonna road trip there like i was saying the trip in total i think is gonna take uh i think it's like a 21 hour drive but we're gonna break it up into days just because uh the kids in the car for that amount of time uh there's also uh, a friend a good friend of mine um that uh that was killed in uh iraq when we were there uh he's buried in alabama and uh i've never been to alabama to go see him so that's definitely one of the things on the list to do is to go see him i reached out to his um uh, his wife and um, she gave me all the the directions to the cemetery and all that so it's gonna be pretty awesome so really really excited to go on this trip this is gonna be awesome last year we did south of the border which was pretty fun and uh, this year we're doing we're, we're doing the, the Louisiana trip so all right I'll see you later